France's National Assembly has unanimously adopted a resolution calling for sanctions against Azerbaijan, among other provisions supportive of Armenia. The resolution called for the French government to consider applying individual sanctions on Azerbaijani officials in the case of continued attacks and occupation of Armenia's sovereign territory. Apart from sanctions against Baku, the resolution also called for the immediate release and return of all Armenian prisoners of war detained in Azerbaijan and urged the French government to take steps to strengthen Armenia's defense capabilities and mediating efforts to resolve the security issues facing Karabakh's Armenians. It also called on international organizations to take measures to protect Armenian cultural heritage under Azerbaijani control. Last week, the French Senate passed a similar resolution, also calling for sanctions against Azerbaijan for its aggression against Armenia. Importantly, the resolutions are non-binding, and the French government is not required to take any further actions in response to their passage. And Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan is in Poland, participating in this year's ministerial conference of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. He met with a number of his counterparts, including the foreign ministers of Greece, Switzerland, Lithuania, the Czech Republic, and Estonia. On the sidelines of today's roundtable, Mirzoyan also had informal exchanges with Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu and Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Ceyhun Bayramov. And finally, speaking at a lengthy press conference on Thursday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov laid blame on France and the US for paralyzing the Minsk Group and said an agreement reached by Armenia and Azerbaijan in Prague in October resolved the issue of Karabakh status. Lavrov added that since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Washington and Paris stated that they will not cooperate with Russia anywhere or under any format. According to Lavrov, this spelt the end of the OSC Minsk Group's activities. Lavrov added that now the EU, the French and the Americans are trying to compensate for burying the Minsk Group by getting involved in mediation efforts. The OSC Minsk Group has mediated between Armenia and Azerbaijan since the early 1990s, largely without result. The group has three permanent co-chairs, Russia, the US and France. Lavrov sought to contrast Western mediation efforts, which he said were ineffective, with Russia's. The Kremlin, he noted, mediated the ceasefire to the 2020 Karabakh war and continues to help the Armenian and Azerbaijani sides to work to reopen regional transport links, demarcate their shared border and reach a peace deal. Continuing on the topic of the peace agreement, Lavrov argued that the 1991 Alma-Ata declaration, which Armenia and Azerbaijan agreed to using as the basis for border demarcation at an October meeting in Prague shows that the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast was clearly part of Soviet Azerbaijan. Lavrov stated that the Prague Agreement facilitated further work because it resolved the issue of how to deal with Karabakh status, adding that Armenia's leadership has been avoiding the topic of the issue of status and instead focusing on the need to ensure the rights of Karabakh's Armenian population. The Azerbaijani side is ready for this. They are ready to provide guarantees of the rights that other Azerbaijani citizens also have, Lavrov concluded.